go there. In this video I'm going to cover a more um, advanced method of drawing your unit boundaries. So this is uh, the contacts. Um, so the first thing we want to do, we've got the unit colors and we're just going to reuse these uh, lines. So if I do control C to copy and then click on the unit boundaries and then we want to go edit and paste in place so that pastes it in the exact same spot. Um, we'll just hide those unit colors for now. If we go to, you notice that it's pasted it with this um, opacity, so that's okay. So what we'll do is we'll hide all the fill and we're just going to go to the fill and stroke menu and we're going to ramp up. Uh, sorry, I'm just having a bit of trouble here. Uh, yes, because I'd already done that one earlier. It's different width. So we'll make it about that width. But just so we can see it a bit easier. Um, and all of these have an opacity that's transferred through to the actual objects, which is a bit odd. But never mind. We can always select all of them and just slide this opacity back up if we want to. Okay, so the process for doing this is we first need to um, get rid of essentially all these extra bits that we don't need. Uh, so what we use is the Node tool here. And the simplest way to do it is to simply click on the line you want to get rid of and then do this delete segment between two non endpoint nodes. Um, if anyone knows a better way, just leave a message for me. Uh, I couldn't find anything better than this method. Uh, we want to leave that one in. So this line goes right through here, is one we can remove. So we're just removing all those overlap lines. Um, that one there we can remove. That one there we can remove. And we can remove that one. Remove that one. And if you put nodes right at the intersection, then you should be able to, at the intersection where it, where it contacts other units, then you should just, you wouldn't, won't need to add any extra nodes, but otherwise you might have to um, just add a node or move a node around. So here we might need to move this node down and move that one. So yeah, and now what we're left with is just the contacts we want. So at this point we can go back to this main selection tool and uh, this one here. Um, you remember that we drew that as two. Um, this used to be a continuous path. So although we've um, broken apart cut it apart here, it's still treated as one single compound path. So we just simply go to path, um, break apart to separate into two separate paths. And then you can come in here, um, you can set the stroke color and you can give it the dashed lines effect that you want there. Um, now 
Now in this example here, you see that we've got this part of the path comes along and then here it is accurate and here it becomes intermittent. So what you can do with this is you come back into the node tool and that's I think where it switches over and you can just go to break path at selected node and then we want to again break it down here. So we do break break path at selected node and the next thing we want to do is select that entire path. Remember it's a compound path now, it's not completely separate until we do this last bit we do path break apart. So now we can make this one a solid black line and make this segment a we'll make it black and then a dash line and we'll make this one a dash line and shift Okay, so just zoom out a bit and just close this layer panel, we'll bring back our unit colours and we can see the contacts that we've drawn on and they will match, match exactly where we drew the contacts between the unit boundary colours. Now if you end up needing to edit these unit boundaries then what you're going to want to do is move them, select all the nodes at once and try and move them as a group or you'll just have to revert to the other method. This is where it, that's where it gets quite tricky so you really want to get it right first time. Thanks very much.